Welcome to this Make Code for Arcade uh, video. My name is Pelly. I work at Microsoft for Make Code in Seattle, Washington, and with me, Emil the Coder. Emil the Coder. Emil is going to drive the lessons, and we're going to be doing some tutorials today. And I think we're going to be doing um, a new tutorial. So let's go. So if you are uh, watching us, you can right click two times on the video and select picture in picture and that lets you see this video and actually also do the coding. Otherwise, make sure you go to arcade.makecode.com in your browser and that's all you need to start coding. You'll be doing some really cool games with us. If you have access to it, you can also buy little arcades and play it on the real hardware and take it home with you. All right, that being said, let's do our tutorial. So we scroll down to the tutorial line. Let's scroll a bit more because we're in the way. And we're going to be doing simple extensions. Simple extensions. We're going to be learning. We did maze with all the fans. Yesterday we did maze with all the fans. We're going to learn how to use extensions. Extensions are additional packages of blocks that people have written. Um, so more functionalities that are kind of specialized. Using extension arcade allows users to develop and share portions of their code with their with others. And in this case, oh. we're going to use a super cool extension called Corgio. Corgio. Like the dog. Yeah, Corgi. Corgi. Okay, so they just give it to us. Right. So in the tutorial, they've added it, but we'll we'll show you in the video how to add it uh, yourself. Set my Korg. <laughs> the first thing we'll do is make our Corgio. Find the set my cord in Corgi. And drag it on the unstart. Oh, that's it's cute. It's a corgi? It's a corgi. I, I don't think that's a dog. Let's reset. Yeah. And why? We'll see. So you've created a corgi of kind player. It's like a... Mm. Yeah, mm. cute. Now let's make a sprite figure move left and right with the control arrow keys. Gonna make my corg move left to right with arrow keys. And make my cord jump up if arrow key is pressed. From Corgi. Oh. All right. Let's go in Corgio. Make my cord move left and right with arrow key. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Actually, try moving it. Let's see what it does. Make my cord jump if pressed left and right. Oh, it's a platform. It's Flappy Bird. Oh, oh the only jump. jumps once. Oh, it does a double jump. Just like the platformer. That looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, wait, I can triple jump. So what happened is someone wrote the logic and then it bundled it into an extension. Yeah. And then you can use that to build your game. That's really cool. I forgot to stay in okay. <laughs> The core game is a bit boring when it's Image doesn't change. So fix this. Get a change image when my corg is moving block from corg and put it under the sim my corg too. How about we collapse the sim later when we're coding? Okay, yeah. Okay. First, I'm gonna see how he looks. Oh, that's so cute! It's a dog. Oh yeah, my God. They do the jumps. Okay. And sideways jumps. Yeah, this looks much better. Whoa! It's like zoom out. It's like it's like the the Mario um, games. That I think we have on arcade too, and when he's running, you see his legs. Ah, he's like, he's on the ground, kind of resting. Oh yeah. He's oh, he's animated now. now. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Time map. At set time map from scene. You know, start. Got set some the platforms for the corgi to stand on and set them as walls. Okay. So we're going to do a tile map that's not square. It's going to be 20 by 8. So it's more like a long room. And we're going to put platforms. So we're going to change that to 20 by 8. So it's more like a, a, so it's a side scrolling. Or whatever, I don't know. Yeah. And then. And we'll you want to, what do you want to draw? Well, um, we'll do like. Mm. So maybe do a wall. Like, do the ground first. Or maybe okay. let's paint the whole thing first. This is the ground. 
Oh, fans again? Fans. How, How about, about before we did the ground, we paint the background? Oh, yeah, we paint the background. Um, what do you want for background? Paint to a background. I kind of want, like... Okay, that doesn't work. No, because that's like a bottom. Try another block. Uh, oh, no, no, you need a block that's like symmetric with the background, something like grass. Yeah, something like grass. That's, I'm dungeon. Sure oh, yeah, dungeon. Perfect. Dungeon that one. Works. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Are you sure about the fans for the ground? Yeah. It's All like right. But I uh, zoom out because I don't think you draw enough of them. the fans okay we gotta get this guy uh oh undo sinky undo <laughs> okay pen so remember you can draw but that doesn't define the wall so there's you also have to draw the walls okay separately so using the wall do, tool um miscellaneous or something maybe you want some platforms yeah platforms like this this looks nice one platform He has to jump. He needs. He should be able to fall too. Oh, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> All right. How about we put the walls now and everything we need? There you go. That's kind of simple. And you have to draw all your walls where you want them. Otherwise, he just won't step on it a little quality. And all your fans. Yeah. Otherwise, he's going to fall off. Okay. Done. Oh, that looks pretty good. I just hey, he's stuck. The camera doesn't move with him. That's the problem. Make it so the camera follows Corvio as it leaves the screen. And make camera follow my Corvio left and right. From there we go. Corvio. They've thought about everything. This is looking like, oh, yeah, it doesn't like the blocks being too close to the top. I'll have to cut that part out, part out. I think it's because our map is probably a bit too small. Or oh, you can jump when you're on the sides. All right, let's see what else we have to do to do our extension game. Yes. At the end of the tile map, draw a column that is different, that is a different tile than the other tiles in the map. This will represent the goal for your player. Okay. Right, so, so all the way to the right. Okay. And, and you want to do something. It's like in Mario when you reach chest. when you reach the flag. Chest. chest. Why not? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe fans, but there's already fans. There's already fans. Um water you like jump into the water there you go do we have water no i don't have roads on my water okay we'll we just did do roads, roads last time so it's something yeah, we else. Did roads last time um oh those little blocks of grass these yeah okay. good enough yeah good enough good enough all right let's see let's see what else do they want i'm just gonna click that it's not a wall exact it's not a wall this, this will represent the goal for the player, I think. I think we've done that. And there's actually some pretty good hints. See that little, tiny little line? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, okay, so now we're going to do another lap at location on Sprite of Kind. So let's move the whole view so that, and actually let's collapse the simulator so we can look at this code. Let's read that cloudly. On Sprite of Kind player, so that's Corgio, mm -hmm. which overlaps with, and then we have to find, yes, the coral. No. Okay, we need to make some coral. Mm -hmm. 
aquatic. Which goal yeah, is it? Yeah, this one. I think it was this one. Let's do that. How about that? Oh, that's your goal? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. You only need one. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the code. Let's put it in the view. At location. And location is the spot you... There you go. When? The location tells you which tile you've you've hit. Yeah, so let's play. It worked. You should do if you and touch the fans, you die. We only have one heart. This is then so you easy. need to s put a. Okay, let's do let's do a thing where. You you know what, let's finish this tutorial yeah. and then we'll start modding it. Okay. Yeah, I can. And let's click finish. You would need to uh, make sure you have a platform. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, so if you've got a game, uh, you can share it. And it's very easy. You uh, Let's close this dialog and show it the whole way too. So, can so, I name it? Yeah. All right. So let's close this and show the whole way how to do that. Let's close it up. Close it up. So if you want to share at any point, you can click on share, and it takes you to the same dialog. You can record. So if you're in the simulator, you press R and then you play the game. I can't show my hacks. And that will create a cool GIF and. Oh, a different one. That wasn't good. <laughs> Ready, set, go. There you go. That's much better. So record a cool GIF or take a screenshot and then hit publish. And you can share that. It's uh, a bit of a lag. And that's okay. And that's how you share your games. You can share that in forum with your teachers, with your parents. You can even use the QR code to play on your phone. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, what did you want to do? So first of all, we want to. If you touch the fans, you die. So let's let's modify the tile set, the tile map, to have a platform. You can't mean. fall. Otherwise, you're gonna fall on the on the fans. So How about you draw a, a platform there and put a wall? Oh yeah. And that one. There we go. Yeah, and put a wall on it. Okay, so that's good. Let's try that. Can I add some more stuff? Well, later on. Okay. Could so be, we could be here for hours. Yeah, okay, he's safe. And now let's add another event to, well, how do we make it? Uh, so the idea is to die when it goes on fans, right? Yeah. Okay. Or like, ooh. Ooh, dead. Okay, let's add the code to do that. Look at his lights. Okay, yeah, if you dead. play full screen, you can actually see it better. Look. So cutie! Yeah! All right. Let's... Um, so you know, we use this event. Scroll to the right. On Sprite of Kind Player Overlaps. And that's a, an event in Scene. So scroll down. Yes. This one? No, because we hit the walls all the time. Oh, you click on the help. Let's do that. Let's pop yeah. it out. Can I close that? No, just, just collapse it. Okay. okay, so when our player overlaps with... And we are going to go on one of the fans. Wait, yes. what kind of fans do we have? I think you have two kinds of fans. You did two fans. We did the, the green guys. How about we go back and do only one kind of fan, so we have less code to do. Okay. Let's go back into tile map. Or it could just be a glitch. I mean, a, a okay, glitch. Okay, it's going to be a glitch. And that's going to be a game over. Yeah, one life. Yeah, one life. Yeah, just like any platformer. Come on, little, little corgi. There we go. I think we picked the wrong one. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a wall. It's not going in. We have to remove the wall from it. Okay. So. 
it's already a wall. Uh, you have to erase it. Use the eraser tool. Well, those, okay, we don't handle the code on those because they're different. Oh, yeah, it'll just be a glitch. That's going to be a glitch. Beautiful. A glitch. Okay, let's see what. Okay. Cool. Now it feels more like a flap. Ah! All right, let's, let's send it to the hardware. Uh, Emil, you're gonna, gonna do that. I'm gonna go into our station. So here we're gonna choose Melbit, because we have the Melbit. Compiling, this may take a minute. And once it is compiled, you're gonna right click on the green button Save link as and make sure you meow bit. Hold on, hold on. But your meow bit is, should be connected to your computer and it should have arcade. It should have the arcade F4 screen as you see now. And then save it to the meow bit. And once it's done, okay, let's go. Let's see that. Let's see that game here. It doesn't look good in the camera. Things I know remind me of it. Uh oh. Here, let the Gen Z do it. Okay. Oh my god. Well, we'll have to train on it. Let's go back to the code. Yeah, something happened to it. I, I'm wondering if the dog chew on it. I did it. I, I won. Yeah. Oh. I won. Oh, what? Okay, what? All right. Oh, let's go. Okay, it's done. Do you want to do any other mods in your game? Hmm. There's one thing we can add, which is fun. I want to make it harder. Yeah, so actually now, if you're watching this video, you're welcome to make the tile map bigger and do more walls and stuff like that. We, we don't have any enemies, but we'll cover that another day. Now, one thing we haven't shown is, where is Corgio coming from? Because Corgio... He just drops. Where did those blocks come from, and how do you get Corgio blocks in your cone uh, if you don't do the tutorial? Right? So click on Advanced. If you scroll down, you see extensions at the bottom. Okay, go back because that was too fast. Oh, yeah. Oopsie doopsie. So click on advance and then you see extensions all the way to the back. Mm -hmm. If you click on that, you'll see there's a number of additional uh, piece of blocks that you can download and use to uh, build your games. And you can see there's a lot of stuff. Um, Servo. Nice. Yeah, so with Arcade, you can also drive like, physical things like motors and servos and lights and uh, add things like custom animations or darts and Corgio is one of them. So that's how you would do it if you're not doing you do the tutorials, use one of these extensions. Also, some of our users are writing extensions. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff going on there that's really cool. Uh, and that's going to conclude our stream today. So have fun building the game and uh, building the super cool platformer. And see you next week.